so I just thought of saying that um, if you have done um, your degree or basically your postgrad or whatever in science field and you want to some, do something to uh, related to healthcare, I think um, research analyst, data analyst, or also health informatics, which I've done, is kind of in a lot of scope over here. Okay, in Canada, that's the reason is because. Uh, there is a lot of uh, opportunities in the healthcare system. Okay, they really need people to kind of come up and help them, and uh, who can be trained to their needs and their specifications. So that being said, what can you expect from these kind of fields? These are pretty similar to each other. Okay, and their course programs are also almost the same. And you have multiple options, like you have Durham, you have uh, Seneca, Humber. You know. The George Georgian George Brown. There are a lot of colleges where you can get these programs, and um, you can just look up. These are like the top programs that you can apply for in Canada, and uh, I think it's easy to get, specifically in Ontario. So, what can you expect from these programs? It's because I've done it. I thought it's better that I share. Uh, during the first semester, there'll be six subjects. Okay, six. Um, I'd say six or seven, and um, two of which will be just like our. Um, electives what i mean by that is just additional subjects so you need to know the history of this place so kind of um, um a subject that covers all that which is kind of social studies and sociology okay and another one would be your english over here it's very important that you have your um how do i say your own kind of hard work you cannot just steal someone's place copy paste it you have to reference it apa and things like that which is kind of um, you know it's the same in every college and it's very strict and uh, you just cannot get away with it okay so you have to do your own research you have to really work hard to get those grades so there's a specific program itself for that uh, which kind of prepares you for your whole semester and it's not just for your semester it kind of sets up the uh, you know the uh, kind of the foundation for you to work even in your office setup that you have to have your originality you have to work on your own projects than just copy pasting someone else's work which is not accepted over here it's not accepted at all okay so that being said english writing stuff like that it it covers everything okay your business studies your project related stuff how do you do your references what are the expectations what kind of grammar is expected so that's so these are the two programs that are going to be there in semester 1 for sure now coming to your main core subjects what can you expect so it's because it's health informatics or research analytics or data analysis anything there is always a lot of data just like the program name itself there's a lot of data so all the subjects basically kind of surrounds and talks about these data like how can we analyze the data that's going to be one of the subject analyzing the data data analysis what all is needed data mining how can you extract the data and then you have these tools like sql is one tool and then there is excel which you can used to kind of use the data now what i mean by data is it's supposed me okay i'm an individual so everything about me my name my date of birth my email address my phone number okay which place i uh, i was born in where am i living now what are my studies what all i've completed what are my friends what are my hobbies so you see this is a lot of data of about a single person so just imagine this data just around the whole world there's a lot of data and just about my single individual just about me there's so many details so this is a data so what can you do with this data how can you kind of analyze it what information can you get from this pandemic covid pandemic we had so much information that we have to kind of collect it and kind of um improvise to kind of reduce the risks and um help people around right so data analytics is the future i would say and you need to kind of uh know something like this and uh, it's a really useful degree that one can spend their time and money on for sure okay so you have uh, data management and then you have data analysis one of the tools like sql you'll have excel 
and then you might have tableau you have data visualization how can you use this to kind of visualize it by visualization i mean it was it was fun i really liked it it was using these graphs and using tableau and using canva i would like to show these i mean um, i'm not so sure if i will but yeah i would try to kind of uh, do it on my laptop and show how to use these free sites like canva and also tableau and how can you kind of use these to in your daily life for your own projects and creating your own pro portfolios and uh, help create posters and things it's really cool and it's uh, like free of cost anyone can use it so you get to learn a lot of it, a lot of it and then there's so many projects and presentations it's 100% going to help increase your uh, confidence and your communication skill which is like the basis set foundation over here to kind of put your front foot forward that you know what i can kind of communicate and put my point what i want to say right so it also prepares you for the real world that's how the programs are okay it um, kind of helps you to deal with the real life situations and scenarios out here and um talking about that the most specific thing is it kind of opens your mind okay this program it, it it's a lot of um, logical thinking uh, based program like for example we had i had projects where i had to kind of select these uh, devices that can help in medical field so i just chose apple watch which is a simple example we which kind of detects your heartbeat your um, you know your blood pressures and things like that which you would not just think about just randomly right so this kind of this program kind of brings a lot of thoughts and ideas which is really good okay it can set the foundation for a lot of things in the future that you would want to focus on and um, mainly it surrounds in EMR all this electronic medical records that are there and um, how can you kind of transform these uh, paper based system to electronic systems and how can you connect all the uh, hospitals uh, databases together okay like for example there is one clinic which has all the information about me suppose my health conditions my health history and everything and now i suddenly move to a different city or a province how will this information from one particular uh, database or one particular clinic be translated to that one so the interoperability between these two so it kind of it's on a very large scale and um, it's generalized i would say but then uh, there are there is a few things which are very specific as well so it's really going to be very fun if you would want to do it and uh, there's also leadership program in that that's another subject that you will be dealing with in the second semester so second semester you'll have again seven subjects core you'll have capstone you'll have project management uh, you'll have leadership you'll have the health policies all the policies and uh, all the rules that are there in canada you'll also have to go through them um so it's fun you know there's a lot of things to do and um, for sure you will not know how the time goes and what all you're learning so when i speak about leadership what difference can you make uh, from your perspective so there was one thing that my teacher said that we have a tracker to even track for like food where is our food but not for ambulance like how how long will it take for an ambulance to reach so that's kind of that's kind of things that you're going to discuss within class and kind of come up with ideas and all that and um, you will also be dealing with a lot of uh, specific long term care uh, devices that are available for the patient how can they help in their uh, long term care and um, uh, kind of help improve so i've learned a lot of things from this program and you can look up online you can see what courses are there will be a description about a specific program course it's there in my previous videos how you can go through that so use that just try to google what that information is is it of your interest do you want to spend some time in that and kind of see the future in that go for it but yeah you will have to have some sort of reference to get in through the core jobs um because i have another program and i'm i'm just kind of evaluating what field and which stream that i want to go to i'm not paying much attention to applying to the health informatics stream alone but then i did look up online on linkedin there are multiple jobs is just that they want experienced person but just in case if you can get through your professors or somehow in one of these streams to kind of analyze these data and health informatics related streams they would need people there is scope for it and um for sure you might land a good job over there and have a f have fun doing it you know it's not going to be monotonous because every day you're going to deal with a lot of new things and a lot of new data it's data i mean i also got to learn statistics and it was mind boggling because math is not my favorite subject but 
that with the help of statistics i i got to kind of learn a lot of things and it'll be really hard i would say you know stats if you don't like math you can't do stats okay so it's going to be really like logical and i don't know there are, there are a lot of things that in statistics that it's just not going to be on mean more than average there is going to be progression there's going to be hypothesis there are going to be a lot of things um yeah so that's going to be a little hard when it comes to data but it's again fun and you will also be covering ai artificial intelligence which is the future right the future like <laughs> everything is machine learning there's artificial intelligence everywhere so your phone basically for example you just look up something that you were you want to find uh, suppose the latest model of iphone sometime back you just l- keep working on instagram just keep looking the reels and you see an ad with iphone have you noticed that so you know that's ai right it's the, that's the data that's the kind of thing that it's selecting from what your search history is what kind of information that you are adding to your phone and it kind of operates on that and fetches details and adds an information which can help you so this this kind of all futuristic things that are there it's it's kind of pretty cool and if you're really interested um you know you can just look up online and um, see what program is what does it mean is it of your interest and go see look up on youtube maybe if you can find something more specific where people are going to let you know what exactly this course is what can you expect from this course how will be the grading is it going to be hard is it going to be okay it's something that you can deal with the professors are really helpful out here i've told this multiple times in almost all my videos people here are helpful okay there's help everywhere it's just up to you whom do you want to reach out to and how much can you make the most of it okay just use it to your 100 potential of yours try to gather most information that you can and kind of learn and kind of grow as an individual so that's the main purpose that kind of everyone comes here for so it's really going to be helpful so you can expect all this in health informatics and um, there are multiple other uh level of scenarios and uh situations and things that you can study from it like my main project in the last was kind of uh interoperability how can we kind of combine all these data from different provinces and what's the situation in canada how does it help about astrazeneca that that master company how did it help in covid so you will really know um a lot of things that you would not have thought just otherwise without doing anything right so it's 100% worth the money and the time that you spend in and also as a career uh i would say a thumbs up it's a really good option that one can explore okay so i hope this is of helpful and you find more details about it and if there is any other specific question that you would want to know especially related to corfet college health informatics program and you can just drop in the comment section i try to just reply my email is also there where uh, you can kind of uh, just write to me your personal question anything specific that you don't want to be publicly posted i'll just um, send uh, add my email in the list as well where you can just send me your personal questions and um, i can kind of have a look at your resume or maybe kind of be help help you in any way so i'm also attaching the resume which will be needing for your job or kind of anything and everything the format how it is you just need to replace those with your details and it's good to go you know it's it's a good one it can land you a good job so anything else just let me know in the comment section and do like and subscribe i've never said that but yeah, do like and subscribe if this is for um if this is worth your time okay so thank you so much bye bye have a nice day